Hey guys, welcome to Boondocker. Today I want to share with you the one mod you can do to your stock boost to make it outperform another stock boost without having to tune it and without having to leave pump gas. So today guys we're going to talk about airbox and intercooler. So guys, we pioneered turbochargers on two cycle snowmobiles. We always end up back at an intercooler for performance. When you compress air, it gets hot. The hotter the air is, the less dense it is. The less dense the air is, the less horsepower I make. It's just that simple. It doesn't mean that you have to go to a certain pressure before you start making temperature. Any pressure makes temperature. When the boost came and it didn't have an intercooler on it, we're like, well, you know, that worked, but if we want the best of the best, we need to cool down that charge air. And here I have a stock Polaris Boost air box, and we can talk a little bit about how it functions because it's a little different than you might know. It's a little bit unconventional. This is a fresh air reed that fits in the back of the stock air box. This sits right behind the gas tank, and what it does is it allows the engine to ingest cold fresh air without having to pull it through the turbocharger. Then as soon as it builds boost, it reads a one-way valve so it won't let any air out and then it can feed the engine with your boost air from the turbocharger. So you can see that this valve comes right out of your stock air box and goes straight into this intercooler. It's positioned below the intercooler element so those throttle bodies can ingest fresh cold air before the turbo has had a chance to spool up, retaining that throttle response on the bottom. This intercooler adds horsepower and it's evident and it's something you can feel. This isn't a like, oh, is that better? This is all the way better. If you put this on a brand new stock boost, it will make more RPMs, three to 400 RPMs more. It's enough RPMs that if you're clutched appropriately, it's gonna over rev by just adding the intercooler. So that's why we have some weights out here. If you're shopping for clutching right now, um, you're shopping the Boondocker site, you're gonna to wanna to step up one size in weights if you're gonna go intercooler. If you want to take your stock boost and do the one thing that will make it run better than another stock boost, this is it right here. This is all the way pump gas performance. You don't have to retune the sled. You don't have to change fuels. Now, if you want to take that to the next level and you want to go a little bit more on pump gas, we have tuning available for you too. If you're a racer and you really want to turn the boost way up, an intercooler is a must have. And then I'm going to clutch it because I'm going to have to because I'm making that much more power. 